It's a bit cryptic, but it actually does get something going. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 12 of Supernatural season 15. We're definitely in a weird spot right now, especially with the show's ending really being uncertain. And I'm not talking about what it's going to be. I'm talking about when they're going to film it. Supernatural, just like every other production in Vancouver, has ceased filming. Now we're at the point where they want gatherings of less than 50 people, which is fine for me. I like being at home. This is going to take some time before we actually see the ending of the show filmed. I'm saying that we might not even see the end of this show until June or July, which this is going to make the entire filming schedule of every single TV show, the pattern of it all, really weird for a long time. But for the episode itself, they have to save another world that's dying again. Oh man, Dev, you just love to have worlds dying. What's her name from the bad world finds them and say, hey, you remember me? The drop storyline from season 14 and 13. I'm back, baby. So they're trying to figure out a way to go back and save the real girl who got speared, but somehow not dead. I don't explain that very well, but they have to do the right thing because Jack wants to do it. And the whole episode is basically about them kind of trying to figure out how to do it without God noticing. They do this cool little warding thing inside the bunker. They save the girl and they go back and then apparently the bad place is just taken over by a giant day after tomorrow's tsunami or something. So that was a pointless storyline. I don't really know if they're ever going to do anything with this character. There's seven episodes left. I can't really imagine that the Jody Mills family as great as a character as Jodie Mills is, that she is going to be something in the breakneck need to have happen or won't even come close to getting a satisfying finale sort of conclusion to the story if she and her family are not crucial in the seven episodes. For instance, there's a great moment that could have been had with this girl coming back and seeing Claire, thought that she's been dead for two years essentially, but she's not in the episode, so they don't do that. Don't know if they're gonna do that in the next episode, but that's a key moment that you could have had for emotional weight. However, Chuck is sitting at a TV store kind of saying that he's trying to destroy all of the world Worlds that he's made previous so that fan theory that all of the alternate things that we've been seeing are alternate versions of Dean and Sam throughout the years just in different parallel universes that was confirmed by Chuck essentially and he's destroying all those versions and it looks like he's might just be destroying earth as well he's cleaning house essentially all the while Billy comes in with that wow random stab that's the first time that I've actually been really surprised by a stab in the back in a while, I got so sick and tired of the angel blade coming out through people's backs that I was just like, oh wait, here it is again. But this time it was a scythe, so it was different. She's pissed off for like a minute about Sam and Dean doing what they did, but then they start to dip into the plan of how to take down God. God is apparently interweaved with the universes, essentially his weakness. We also harken back all the way to season five with Death talking about reaping God. They're actually gonna commit to that. I don't know how they're gonna do it. And then the end of the episode, and the episode ends with the radio shed being hit by a meteor. This episode actually ended with intrigue. I didn't expect that. Majority of the episode is about essentially kind of a pointless story. Line. The latter half, especially the last 10 minutes, really got me going with, hmm, I'm actually really curious as what they're going to do now. Again, there's a lot of uncertainty with how they're going to film it and when they're going to film it. I'm a little bit more curious now as to how the show is going to end. But I still have my doubts about Dab's writing because there was another dying world trope and he just dropped another storyline again. Anyways, I'm going to give this episode a 4 out of 7. It wasn't that bad. I'm going to be continuing along with my season 2 episode reviews since I'm stuck at home for the next little while. If you like this video, leave a like and if you're interested in more, subscribe. And remember, wash your hands and we're all all in this together. Don't hoard the TP. Anyways, that's all for me. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.